The question number 11 says two blocks of mass m and 2m, they are connected with a spring of spring constant k and are kept on horizontal frictionless surface. If we impart a velocity v to a block of mass small m towards right, then velocity of center of mass. Now, dear students, we know that formula of velocity of center of mass is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2. This mass has velocity on v and this mass has velocity 0. So, m multiplied by v plus 2m multiplied by 0 divided by the mass m and 2m. So, that become mv upon 3m and that is equal to v by 3. So, velocity of center of mass is v by 3. And the first option is v by 3. So, answer to this question is 1. The question number 12 is that figure shows a uniform disc whose mass capital M is 2.5 kg and radius is 20 meter mounted on the fixed horizontal axle. A block whose mass small m equal to 1.2 kg hangs from a massless cord that is wrapped around the rim of the disc. The acceleration of the falling block. Now, what do you find in this case? This is connected. This is constrained motion. So, in this case, mg will be down. The tension will be up and it has set an acceleration a. And likewise, this, the tension will give it the rotational motion to the disc. So, we'll write the equation for the block and for the disc. So, for the block, the equation will be mg minus t is equal to m into a, the acceleration with which it will come down. Now for the disc, the equation would be that the torque is equal to t into the radius is equal to the moment of inertia into angular acceleration. As you know that this is there is no slipping, therefore your alpha will be equal to the tangential acceleration divided by r it being a disk and moment of inertia will take m r square by 2. So, a by r. So, what do you get? This is equal to m r a by 2. So, therefore, what is t? t is equal to m a by 2. Now, we will fill this value of t from 2 to equation 1. When you fill, then mg minus capital M A by 2 is equal to small m into A. You get the value of acceleration A is equal to 2 small m into G capital M plus 2m. Now fill the value capital M equal to 2.5 and small m equal to 1.2. You get this answer equal to 4.9 meter per second square and which is your first option. So, answer to this question is 1. The question number 13 is the best graph showing the variation of kinetic energy k, potential energy u and total energy e with radius r for a satellite in circular orbit around the earth. Now, dear student, you know that if this is a satellite moving around the earth, then its potential energy is minus g m mass of earth and the distance and what do the kinetic energy the kinetic energy is equal to g m m divided by 2r and the total mechanical energy is equal to that is equal to minus g m m by 2r now look carefully that if I draw the graph between kinetic energy and the distance from the center, this will be the hyperbola with kinetic energy positive. And you have the option like this, this, and like this one. But the secondly, look carefully, the potential energy is negative and, and total mechanical energy is negative, and this is just the reciprocal of each other. I mean, the graph are one is a the mirror image of another. And look at the way where is the mirror image like this one kinetic energy 
and total mechanical energy just metrically one up one below and no doubt the potential energy is double to this one so therefore the correct graph is option number 3 the question number 14 is a body is dropped from rest from height of 5 meter after rebounding twice from a horizontal floor to what height will it rise if the coefficient of restitution is 0.5 and it's given that ball is dropped from here the height of this one it will strike to the ground with certain velocity say v naught uh, loses kinetic energy and goes up with velocity v1 as the first rebound reaches here with velocity v1 and rebounds with the velocity of v2 now we want to find out with this velocity how much height it will go so this height is h naught this height is h1 and this height is h2 now you know that what is the coefficient of restitution velocity of separation to the velocity approach in the first case this is v1 minus 0 divided by v naught minus 0 and the second case e will be velocity of separation is v2 earth is at rest and v1 minus 0 so here v1 is equal to e into v naught and this v2 is equal to e into v1 and fill this this become e square into v naught now what is the formula for height you know that the v is equal to root of 2gh in the first case and what will be this is 2gh1 the height and v2 is equal to 2gh2 so you can see that your height h2 is equal to e power 4 into h naught. So we'll fill for the values. This is 0 0.8 power 4 into h naught was 5. So 8 by 10, 8 by 10, and you take 5 times, so you get 2.05 meter. So the correct option is option number 2 to this question. The question number 15 is a bomb of mass 30 kg is at rest explodes into two pieces of masses 18 kg and 12 kg the velocity of 18 kg mass is 6 meter per second what is the kinetic energy of another fragment now a big mass of 30 kg was at rest so this goes to two pieces one of 18 kg and the second piece is of 12 kg now what is given that this 18 kg piece is moving at the speed of let's say in this direction 6 meter per second and you can see what is the velocity of this piece that you can take that by momentum conservation law the momentum of this piece will be equal to the momentum of other one because total momentum changes zero so what is the momentum of this one that is equal to 6 into 18 kg meter per second and both will have the same momentum now he's asking what is the kinetic energy of this particle you know that kinetic energy of any particle is equal to p square divided by two times the mass and momentum this has the momentum as p1 and square divided by its mass 12 and momentum is equal so that means 6 into 18 square divided by 24 so we'll solve this so 6 into 18 6 into 18 divided by 24 and that comes to be 486 joule so therefore the correct option is the second one 